Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à Learn French by Suchita. Je m'appelle Suchita, votre enseignante de la langue française et dans cette vidéo, on va apprendre les pluriels des noms. That means we are going to learn the plural of nouns. Before we begin with this video, I would like to introduce you to my website www.learnfrenchbysuchita.com where you will find recorded courses for all your French language needs. We have courses for DELF A1, DELF A2, DELF B1, TEF TCF recorded course, French phonetics as well. We have special courses for our school students ranging from grade 5 to grade 8. We also have courses for university students who are enrolled in certificate course or diploma course in Delhi University. And finally, we also have courses for our school students who are aiming to appear for their Delft Prime or Delft Junior examinations. So hurry up and check it out. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. And in this video, we are going to learn how do you make the plural of nouns? That means we are going to learn pluriel de nous. So first, let's discuss how do you make the plural of nouns in English. Let's say if you have a marker, how would you say that it is plural in English? You will say markers. So you add an S. Now, if you want to say the plural of a book, you will say books. Again, you added an S. If you want to make the plural of a table, how do you say that? You will say tables. So again, you added an S. But in French, you have certain other rules to make it plural. So there are six rules in French to make a noun plural. I have divided this video into two parts. In the first part, we are going to learn some rules and we'll continue this topic in the second part of this series. So let's begin with this video. And the first rule is you make plurals of most of the nouns by adding an S to the singular form. Okay. Now, for example, you have a garçon, a garçon, which means a boy. Now, you want to make it plural. So, first, there are certain articles here, which are un. You can have un or une. How do you make the plural of that? The plural of un and une is des. So, these are indefinite articles. If you do not know what are indefinite articles, I'm dropping the link in the card above. You can watch that video and then come back here again. Okay, so the first example is un garçon. Un garçon, which means a boy. How would you make its plural? So, the plural of un is des and the plural of garçon would be made by adding an s. So, it becomes some boys. Now, there is something which is different from English here. If this would have been in English, you would have said boy and boys. So the pronunciation varies. But in French, the pronunciation is same. Even this is garçon, even that is garçon. So you do not pronounce the last consonant, which is S. Okay. So you make plural by adding an S, but you do not pronounce that S. So the singular form will be pronounced as un garçon. And the plural form would be des garçons. You do not pronounce the last S. A boy, some boys. A nom, a nom which means a man. The plural would be des hommes. Homme avec S. A man, some men. Okay, so I added an S to make it plural. And the plural of un, which is an indefinite article, is des. Now the next example that we have is la la fille which means the girl now le la l apostrophe the plural of all of them would be les by the way these are definite articles if you do not know what are definite articles i'm dropping the link in the card above you can watch that video and then come back here again now la fille which means the girl now the plural of la would be le and the plural of fi would be made by adding an s however you will not pronounce that s so la fi and the plural is le fi the girls the fourth example that we have is la famille la famille which means the family now how would you make its plural le famille avec s but you will not pronounce that s so le famille the families 
let's continue with the second rule and that is nouns ending with s x or z they do not change into plural that means when you make the plurals of that there will not be any change allez le premier exemple le bras le bras which means the arm now the plural would be les bras did you notice one thing that it already ends with an s in the singular form so while making plural there was no change in the word however the definite article le yes that changed into le so le bras the arm les bras the arms okay on continue avec le prix now here it ends with an x le prix the price the plural is les prix again it ends with an x so in the plural it will not change les prix so le prix which means the price les prix which means the prices on continue avec le nez le nez which means the nose now it ends with a z so to make its plural you will not add anything and it will become le nez le nez which means the noses quatrième exemple le pays le pays now it already ends with an s in the singular form which means the country so le pays the plural would be le pays there will not be any change in the word and it becomes the countries you have to only change the article okay now the last example that we have is le choix le choix which means the choice now it ends with an x in the singular form so in order to make it plural you will write le choix le choix which means the choices you just have to change the article if the noun is ending with s or x or z you will not change anything in the noun and it becomes plural just by changing the article now the third rule is nouns ending with e a u the nouns which have the combination e a u at the end they take x in the plural now if you see all the examples that i have written here they have e a u at the end so in order to make them plural i have added an x however this x is not pronounced you do not pronounce that the pronunciation of singular and plural that remains same on commence avec le bateau le bateau which means the boat The plural is les bateaux. Les bateaux avec x. Now it becomes the boats. So le bateau, les bateaux. Deuxième exemple, le bureau. Le bureau, which means the office, or it also means the desk. Now it again ends with e a u. So the plural is les bureaux. Bureau avec x, which means the offices, or it can also mean the desks. Troisième exemple, le cadeau. Le cadeau, which means the gift. Again, it ends with the combination e a u. So, in order to make it plural, you will put x. Le cadeau. The pronunciation doesn't change. Le cadeau, le cadeau, which means the gifts. Quatrième exemple, le chapeau. Le chapeau, which means the hat. Again, it ends with the combination e a u. So, in order to make it plural, you will put an x. Le chapeau, which means the hats. And the last example that we have is le chateau. Chateau means the castle. Again, it ends with the combination e a u. To make it plural, you will put an x. Le chateau. So, the nouns which end with e a u, you put x to make their plurals. but the pronunciation doesn't change now the fourth rule that we have is nouns ending with eu they also take x in the plural so wherever you will see a noun which is ending with eu the combination eu there also in order to make its plural you will add an x par exemple le cheveu le cheveu cheveu which means a single hair the single strand of hair 
Now, in order to make it plural, you will put les cheveux. Cheveux avec x. There it means the plural, the the hair. Okay. So everywhere, the all the examples that I've given, they have eu combinations at the end. Okay. So in order to make their plural, I have added an x everywhere. So le cheveu, which means the single strand of hair, and the plural is les cheveux, which means the hair, the plural. Okay. Next, le jeu, le jeu, which means the game. Now, in order to make its plural, I have again added an x. Les jeux, les jeux, which means the games, the plural. Le lieu, le lieu, which means the place. In order to make its plural. Le lieu, lieu avec x, but this x you don't pronounce. So le cheveu, les cheveux, le jeu, les jeux, le lieu, les lieux. And the next example that we have is le neveu, neveu, which means the nephew. Now, in order to make its plural, you will add again an x, and it becomes les neveux avec x. Les neveux, which means the nephews but here we have one exception which is le pneu le pneu pneu means the tire the tire of a car so you can say le pneu plural would be les pneus avec s so the rule was that if the noun ends with eu then you put an x but in this case since it is an exception it ends with eu but still you put an s to make its plural so that's an exception le pneu les pneus avec s so let's just revise all the four rules the first rule was generally you put an s to make the plural of nouns the second rule the nouns which end with s x or z they do not change into plural the third rule nouns ending with e a u they take x in the plural and the fourth rule is nouns ending with eu they also take x in the plural but in all the four cases the pronunciation of the singular word and the plural word will remain same if you like this video do not forget to hit the like button and to receive all the updates and reminders do not forget to hit the bell icon and i'll see you soon with the next video till then au revoir a bientôt et bisous bisous